Hi, I'm from Heads Up Kids and today we're going to talk about not knowing. Everybody has worries sometimes, whether you're 5, 9, 14 or 40. At the moment, we might have worries that we haven't had before. It's okay to have worries and it's normal to have worries at times like this, when there is lots of uncertainty and things are changing all the time. Some worries come and go quickly and others stick around inside our heads a little longer. Today, we are going to think about how we feel when we don't know what is going to happen. One thing we are all experiencing is a not knowing feeling. What will it be like when we go back to school? When will we be able to have friends over? When can we go and visit our grandparents? Some of us worry because we don't have a picture in our heads of what something will look like. We don't know exactly when it will happen, or if it will go well or badly. It can feel scary when you don't know. One of the hardest things about the pandemic is that we don't know when it's going to end. And that difficult feeling is the same for children and adults. That feeling of not knowing can affect us in all sorts of ways. It can make it hard to concentrate. We can feel agitated or on edge. We might feel like things just aren't right. We might feel teary or sad. We might get tummy aches or headaches. We can't make that feeling of not knowing disappear. But there are things we can do to make having that feeling a little bit easier. When we don't know what will happen in the future, it can help to plan things now. Like what we'll do after we finish our schoolwork, or the activities we'd like to do at the weekend. When we have difficult feelings, we can share them with someone so we don't feel alone. It helps to talk. Sometimes all we need is a grown-up who can listen without giving us advice or telling us what to do. And if it's hard to find the words, we can express those feelings by drawing, writing, dancing or singing. Sometimes, watching a film, enjoying a game, playing outside or meditating helps us have a rest from those feelings and focus on what is happening right now, rather than worrying about what might happen. Pause the video and have a go at drawing what not knowing feels like. Remember that this drawing doesn't have to look like anything and that everybody will do something different. There are things we can do to make not knowing feel easier. Pick something you think might work for you and write it on your picture to remind you. Sometimes we worry about something because we don't have a picture of it in our heads or we don't know when or where it will happen. When we have that not knowing feeling, it can help to plan our days. We can remember to talk, express ourselves and focus on enjoying something right now.